What's up everyone and welcome to Build Nation and I'm your host Adnan. So today we're gonna talk about the man who punched the kangaroo and I'm pretty sure a lot of you know um, who am I talking about but there is a story. Um, what actually happened was uh, my friend actually sent me the video of man punching the kangaroo. I saw it and I'm like haha that's funny because and that's kind of risky too. I was scared for the guy because kangaroos you know they're pretty tough and buff but anyway he did it and Later on, my friend, he just sent me another post. It was from 9gag. Um, they posted some stuff on their website and it talks about the man behind the scene. Not actually the man, but the behind the scene video. So I'm just gonna read off. I'll put some pictures on my side so that you can see. It's from 9gag and I'm saying none of this are from me. And if you're wondering why I have this thing on, because Christmas is coming. Though I don't celebrate Christmas, but those of you who do, Merry Christmas. And yeah, I'm just gonna continue with this guy. But let's get started. Okay, so... And I'm just gonna read off my, my phone. It says, The mirror reports that the video was in fact filmed by a group of hunters in June at ruler, rural estate. It's in Australia. I'm just gonna cut short. It's in Australia and has been organized by strangers to help Kalim Berwick. A 19 year old man who's dying from cancer so if you can see the picture right here he's the guy and uh, he was dying from cancer back in June so yeah then what do we have and the man who delivered the infamous punch to the violent kangaroo and has been identified as Greg Tonkins I guess that's how you say it Greg Tonkins that's the man who punched the kangaroo and I think it's the guy in the middle, the tall guy with the nice shirt. I don't know what you call the shirt. Um, okay, uh, the zookeeper was accom accompanied, accompanied Calum on his last hunt. Oh, shoot. So the 19 year old guy, it was his last hunt. I guess they were filming him, his last hunt. And that's what happened, the kangaroo getting the dog in his hand and whatever. Caleb was a keen, I don't know what this keen means, keen hunter who was dreamed of catching one toner boar. That means 100 kg and if you translate 100 kg to pounds, I guess you, what is 100 kg in pounds? 120 pounds. What? Mm. That's big. That has to be big. But anyway, let's continue. Unfortunately, Caleb passed away earlier this month after being diagnosed with sarcoma earlier in the year. Rest in peace. After the hunt, Caleb thanked his group of friends for arranging the expedition on Facebook. He wrote, that's his written thing, his own message. I just wanted this opportunity to express my gratitude for the kindness of the strangers to help me with, with the dream I had been catching a ton of boar with my dogs. It wasn't long before I met up it wasn't long before I met up with a real good bunch of blokes or bros? No, blokes. Blokes a young fellow like myself could ever ask for. I don't know what this bloke means, but I'll put the description. They came from all over the country. Greg Tonks? Greg Tonks? From my hometown, Dubbo. And that's in Australia, to be sure again. Caleb managed to accomplish another dream before he passed away on marrying his childhood sweetheart, Brandy. Brandy Lee paid tribute to her last husband after his passing, writing that if she could give one piece of advice from her time spent with Caleb, it would be to hold on. Hold on to the hope and hold on to every special memory you have. This is a sad story, 
guys, but you know what is it's just it's just truth. And, uh, I guess I hope so. <sighs> Rest in peace, buddy. And um, so basically, what happened was a guy he was diagnosed with cancer, and he went to his last hunt while other people were filming because that was the last hunt he was gonna go to, and. Um, Somehow, someone's dog was in trouble with the kangaroo, and his friend, or they, one of them, he just went there and he just punched the guy, punched the kangaroo on his face. And if you haven't, the, if you haven't seen the video, that's my friend just calling me. If you haven't seen the video, uh, I'll put the link in the description, and you guys can go and take a look. It's not a reaction video, but I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to let people know what actually happened. But yeah, that's what happened. And why are you looking at the back on my right shoulder? My right shoulder. It's a smile more. Does it? What is it? It's already opened. Sorry. This was a hat from. Roman Atwood. Not from him, but it is from him, but my brother, he is the one who bought it. To, just to let you guys know, my brother, he's a really big Roman Atwood fan. I am too, but not probably as big as him. And uh, he bought this hat like two days ago. And you know, a few days ago, Roman just posted on his blogs that he ran out of his hats. And he's guessing he's the last one who got it. And then Roman had to put new hats on. But yeah, it is cool hat. It says mine more and let me see. I'm not a really big fan of hats, but I like it. It's good. But yeah, so for today, that is it. That's all I wanted to talk about, and I'll see you guys next time. Jump, jump, jump like a kangaroo, and listen to the sound of the victory do.